Hello guys, this is going to be a review of the Philips Fidelio L1 over-ear headband headphones. These headphones are essentially unique in the term that it's amongst a very small variety of headphones in this specific category. This is a semi-open design headphone and with a semi-open design it essentially has an open back construction as you can see it incorporates a grill here however there is a sort of like acoustic mesh or uh, fabric lining that separates the uh, the back of the diaphragm and the speaker to the outside world so essentially there is some sort of um, sound uh, passage and it, it basically allows some sound in and then some sound out. So it tries to incorporate the best worlds of a close back design as well as an open back design. However, it's not going to uh, theoretically incorporate the best, but it tries to. So essentially you, you get some of the best worlds between the, uh, the category of an open back and a closed back design. So the Fidelio L1 is the uh, basically, at the time of this review, it is a discontinued model and it has been replaced with the Fidelio L2. So, I recently picked this up about a month ago and I was primarily um, swayed in by the, the, the rather premium finish and design of this headphone. It seems as if the whole Fidelio lineup is just absolutely beautiful piece of engineering. Um, if the first headphone that I got from this lineup was the Fidelio X1 and being that those were a headphone to use in an indoor environment I was really stunned at how beautiful they were they were very very beautiful however I wouldn't take them outside because of the sheer size as well as the completely open back construction which will render them useless because of the ambient noise in the environment however this is like a a pretty much a baby version of those headphones in terms of the aesthetics as well as the construction quality because these headphones are essentially constructed constructed sorry of primarily leather and aluminum this is way above the standard in the majority of headphones that are constructed today as you can see the uh, the, the area of headphones which um, induce the most uh, strain is just entirely aluminum this is a very beautiful finish here the headband, the outer top is a uh, an actual genuine leather, but the inner side that in, that touches the um, the top of your head is a protein or synthetic leather, as well as the ear pads, because with genuine leather, if it touches your skin, it, it gets into contact with the natural oils and it can over time deteriorate the leather. So it was a smart decision that Philips chose synthetic leather for the areas that touches the skin, and then genuine leather for the areas that don't touch the skin and as you can see it has Phillips embossed in a very subtle manner not very you know blatant and out all over the place like Beats headphones for instance and this is a very mature very sophisticated looking headphone I really love this design uh, moving over to the comfortability of the Fidelio L1s this is probably the most comfortable headphones that I've ever worn and that's not to say the other headphones that I've worn are not necessarily, you know, excellently comfortable, but these are on like their own level. Because one thing is that these headphones incorporate this, uh, this swivel feature, which is very important because your head is not necessarily, you know, perfectly flat. So when the headphones rest upon your head, your head has, you know, an angle to it in which it kind of concaves. So to have the air pad swivel to better accommodate the different, you know, head uh, angles that a user may have, this is a very welcome addition. Also, the air pads are very subtle, very soft. It's 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 dense, but it's soft. So you basically, essentially, it's dense when the environment is cold. So I, I believe a lot of air pads do the same thing. But once your body temperature warms up the air pads, it becomes very soft and pliable and it conforms with the natural uh, shape and dimensions around your ear. My ears fit inside of these ear pads very well, so the comfort is just amazing. The, ear, the headband is very nice and padded, so it does distribute the, the heavy weight of these headphones um, evenly. What I mean by heavy, this is 
this is a very you know well constructed headphone of just this is like pure metal aluminum going across the entire headband so with the uh, the metal design the aluminum is relatively lightweight this is this is a, a heavier than average headphone but it's it's still very comfortable because of the adequate padding now let us dive into the sound characteristics of the Fidelio L1s. Now these headphones remind me of the Weststone ES5s that I had in terms of the, uh, the sound presentation. This has a very warm and rich sound that gently rolls off in the upper octaves of the treble region. To me, Honestly, I wouldn't really recommend these headphones if you're going to be critically listening inside the house unless you favor a very warm and rich tonality because to me it doesn't really capture that last bit of clarity and the details and subtleties. However, these headphones are essentially tuned for outside usage. I'm going to dive more into that right now. So basically when you go outside the ambient noise and the environment in which you are in, it sort of masks the uh, the bass and the lower mid-range output of whatever you're listening to. So with these, as you can see from the frequency response, they basically put emphasis towards the, uh, the sub-bass, the upper, the mid, and the lower mid-range. So as a result, when you go outside, this reminds me of the momentum. The, uh, the frequency response essentially shifts to a more slightly warm to neutral sonic signature and this sounds very very beautiful when it's outside and due to the the the, the natural frequency response that this has this has a dip relatively in the sibilance range so this the it has a very smooth and grainless sound to it which makes vocals just come through very nice and very euphonic and um rich in manner um as a result of that, it's a very non-listening fatigue headphone. You get a very smooth listen, and you're just gonna take these headphones off and your ears are not gonna feel any sort of fatigue or ringing as a result. Now, let's start off with the bass frequency of this headphone. This headphone has a very, very nice and punchy bass, and it extends pretty much endlessly low. It has a very well-textured bass that is very authoritative and just full of life. Now, moving seamlessly into the mid-range, the integration between that and the mid-range is also very well done because as you can see from the frequency response, is essentially a tilt from the bass towards the lower mid-range, so there's no sense of the odd oddities or you know unevenness in that integration. And moving over to the mid-range, like I said previously, because of the, uh, the, the color and europhonic uh, present presentation done to the frequency response of the L1, it makes vocals sound very smooth and grainless, which is in the end kind of does make vocal sound, not necessarily the vocals, the overall sound, not sound as clear as it can be if you're in the house having critical listening because with that area being sort of subdued, which is like the uh, the four to about seven kilohertz range, which is, which is like what Weston does as well, it basically um, mask and reduces the perception of the subtleties and details and musical information in that specific region of the frequency response. However, like I said before, when you go outside, this frequency response works really well to combat the ambient environment. Now moving over to the treble, the treble is actually pretty crisp and somewhat present when outside because of the frequency um, compensation. However, when I'm inside, the bass kind of overrules the treble in terms of the perception values. The resolution and the ability for the headphone to, to essentially present a detailed treble is actually pretty good. Um, the treble also has a sort of kind of like a rough edge to it. It's not as soft as the other trebles from my other headphone. This is a very rough sounding treble it's not necessarily a deal breaker, but it's something that you're going to take notice of. And moving on to the sound stage, the sound stage on these are rather interesting. It's not necessarily a, a wide and open sound stage. It's a relatively average sound stage, but it has a sort of black background that I've really 
never heard on another pair of headphones. It sounds as if, as if the sound is kind of like emitting from nowhere because of the, 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 the grainless sound that this headphone has. So it kind of like, I really don't know how to explain it, but the, the, the background of these headphones is very silent and black. So the sound stage for these are still pretty good despite their average um, space and imaging capabilities. So in conclusion, I really like these headphones. Um, the sound works pretty much really well outside. I think this is my most preferred headphone in terms of sound when outside, but it's not really my preferred headphone when I'm inside. I would prefer the AKG K545s or um, definitely the, the, the Fidelio X1s are, as of right now, my most used headphone when inside because of the, the, the characteristics and the, uh, the quality of its sound. But in terms of outside usage, these are my favorite headphones. And it also moves down towards the, uh, the aesthetics value and the comfortability of these headphones. These are very beautiful headphones, very mature design. It has a, a, a mix of retro and modern look to this headphone. And the comfortability is also excellent. So this is a very good headphone for primarily outside use, unless you prefer this Europhonic colored um, sound that this headphone has to offer where you would be fine using it um, for critical listening when you're inside. The details are there, it's just that the frequency response kind of doesn't really put them in the forefront. And compared to other headphones, they just don't sound as clear and open and inviting. So this has been the review of the Fidelio L1s. If you have any questions or comments that this video has not um, addressed, feel free to post them below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Later.